Here's a couple of useful little devices that only cost a few pounds. Um, one is a one is a folding windscreen, which is quite handy, lightweight. Got two little catches there, but so uh, yeah, that's pretty handy for two or three quid. Weighs very really light. The other thing. Was I was after a folding firebox stove, and uh, I happened to notice that these were going for a few pounds uh, compared with um, the firebox folding stove, which was considerably more. So I thought, well, can't really justify, I think it was about 40 pounds or so for the firebox stove. So anyway, I got one of these and I thought, oh, that's a bit fiddly, but, um, you know, it, it kind of goes together quite easily. And you've got that in there, and then you kind of hold it, kind of hold it together. Get that in there. And then you've got three bits, and then you can put your, your spirit burner bit, slide that in. And then you just put your... Put your fourth, put your fourth side on. I'm gonna put it on. Seemed a bit fragile, but um, kind of once it's together, you know, it kind of it kind of stays together indoors. <laughs> However, if you're on Dartmoor and you've got your you're sitting in your little tent with your meths burner going there and you've got a pan on the top so you've got boiling water and flaming meths and it's a bit windy that can happen quite easily and that was just rattling it a bit well you know I don't think that's very safe I mean if the meths went up and the whole tent went up and you were screaming you've got to remember that if it's on top of Dartmoor no one can hear you outside when you scream because of the wind noise. So, you know, be mindful of this and it might be better off paying an extra few pounds and getting the folding one that might hold together a bit better. But, um, on the pro side, for a couple of quid, in emergency, left in the car, um, you know, could even modify it, I suppose, but it's a lot of hassle. Anyway, I just thought I'd point that out.